Hello, and thank you for inviting me along to speak at the Children's Book Council Awards of Australia. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nicholas O'Sullivan, and I am a lecturer at JCU. I'm here today to talk to you about the central theme surrounding the novel Boys of Blood and Bone, written by David Menzethan, and decide whether this book should or shouldn't receive an award. In reading Boys of Blood and Bone, it has become known to me that one of the main events surrounding this novel is World War I. The events of World War I are prominent throughout this book, and I'll be discussing how Australia's identity has been shaped through the events of World War I. I will use other texts to help support this, such as Remembrance Days, newspaper articles, speeches, and songs. World War I is seen in many parts of this novel. It is seen through the eyes of a teenager, Andy, who is a soldier fighting in World War I. Andy is represented in many places of this novel as being rather horrific gunfights and many other situations which arise in wars. This representation of Andy is actually quite factual. In fact, Many of, all of the World War I soldiers were under the age of 20. This can be seen in some of the images beside me here. But besides pictures displaying the age of soldiers in World War I, a newspaper article can tell of how horrific World War I was. In fact, an article written by Peter Scotcher and Charles Smith in an article to the age titled In the Firing Line wrote this. Let it not be forgotten that during the time sh gun shells are swishing over our head, sometimes at the same time as the Turks. Shells burst with a fearful thud. This article was written by two journalists that are describing how scary it was to be in the gunfights of World War I. This representation that the journalists have created is actually quite factual and has been carried on through the novel Boys of Blood and Bone. Australia's wartime history is very important to our country's national identity and can be seen in events such as Anzac Day. In fact, one of Australia's top World War I historians, C.E.W. Bean, commented on the importance of Anzac Day. Anzac Day now belongs to the past and during the war, all energy was concentrated on the future. The influence of the Gallipoli campaign upon the national life of Australia and New Zealand is far too deep to fade. For it is on the 25th of April, 1915, that the consciousness of the nationhood was born. The sacrifices that our soldiers made have helped show the world our national identity such as Australian soldiers sacrificed their families, their homes, their livelihood to go away and fight for our country, not knowing whether they are going to die. This representation of sacrificing these things can be seen in Andy, who left Australia not knowing whether he was ever going to see his loved one again. Australia's identity is very much portrayed as showing no fear and not being afraid to stand up for their country. This was shown through Australia's willingness to go away to war just 14 years after becoming a federation in 1900. The quote by C.W. Bean earlier tells of how much Australia was prepared to sacrifice in order to fight for their country. In fact, C.W. Bean even went as far as saying all of Australia's energy was concentrated on the war. Now, I ask you, how many countries do you know that are prepared to concentrate all of their time and effort into fighting a war? Similarly, the song, Can You Hear Australia's Heroes Marching, written by Peter Barnes, has been able to create an atmosphere of soldiers fighting for their country. Our soldiers in this song 
they were all not afraid to stand up for their country. This is done for the words in the chorus. Can you hear Australia's heroes marching? Can you see them as they march into eternity? These words have a strong connection with Australia's identity. As every year, we remember our fallen heroes on Anzac Day. All of our heroes were not afraid to pay the ultimate cost, death. Andy was prepared to stand for his country also. Australia's identity has been displayed throughout the book, Boys of Blood and Burn. The author has done this by capturing parts of a teenager in today's world and contrasting it with a boy in Yarkmus who's fighting as a soldier. The book, Boys of Blood and Burn, should receive an award from the Children's Book Council of Australia. This is because the author has represented Australia's national identity in an area that is often overlooked, war. It is important that every teenager knows the choices their country has made in the past so that Australia can move forward as a nation. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time.